Okay, good morning. Welcome to... Kid Math number 62. Kid Math number 62. Sorry, my, my graph here, as I look at it, isn't so great, but that's all right. We're going to talk about graphing uh, quadratics again today. So here I've, I've drawn a graph of y equals x squared, admittedly not the best graph of y equals x squared. Um, and so what I would like you to do first, just for quick review, is show me what y equals x squared plus 2 looks like, please. Well, this one... You can, you slide it over on the axis, kind of like that. Oh, it's not really. Okay. Well, uh, explain to me why that's why that's the case. Well, you have you have a plus two on on the end. You go the other direction of the. Of what the sign is. Like Why don't you make a little quick table for me? So, x, x squared plus 2. Okay. Minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. Okay. So, this one's 6. This one is 3. So, it's just 2. This one is 3 and 6. Okay. So, so go ahead, plot those points real quick on the graph. Well, 2 would be here. All right. About. Then 3, 3, 6, 6. Okay. So this shifts it up or down depending on which one it is, depending what's a plus All right, or minus. so I think we need to go back a little bit and review. I, I, I wanted to move on to talking about something else, but I, it, it, I think we need just a little bit more of a review. Okay. So, if we have this, this simple graph y equals x squared, we know that's just a parabola that hits at 0, 0 here, right? Now, the, the sort of the next simplest thing we can do with the algebra is just add some number to this. Okay, so y equals x squared plus 7, say. Okay, and what we're trying to understand is how does the, how do we go from the algebra to the geometry? Okay. So what does this say? What does the algebra say for every number we have here on this graph? What are we going to do? Well, for every number we have... Don't need, to, don't need to write. You square it. For every number we have... Well, every, every point on this graph, how is that going to compare to every point on this graph? Well, this, it's going to be 7 off from this graph. Okay. All we're doing is adding 7 to, either, to which coordinate? The x coordinate or the y coordinate? The y coordinate. The y coordinate. All we did was add 7 here. So this graph, the second one, just shifts up by 7, up the y-axis by 7. What if I had said y equals x squared minus 4? Then that would shift all the points down by 4. Okay, so draw approximately what that's going to look like. It doesn't matter if you get it exactly right. It doesn't, you know, just approximately what it's going to look like. Something kind of like this. Okay, great. Now, one thing we've studied is factoring and finding roots, right? x squared plus 7. What can you tell me about the roots of this equation? Or in other words, when does x squared plus 7 equal 0? Well, when x, x squared has to equal negative, if x squared is negative 7. Okay, so what sort of roots are those going to be? Imaginary roots. Okay, now when I gr make a graph, I've got real numbers and real numbers. So are the, what are the roots going to look like when I do this graph? Well, they won't be on... Right, y is on. never going to be 0. y equals 0 is down here, right? Yes. Okay, so this graph, and you can see it, it never crosses the x-axis. What about the roots of this equation, x squared minus 4? Well, this one has two roots. Okay, what are they? If x squared... When x, when x it squared is 4, okay. so 2 or minus 2. 2 or minus 2, and you can see 2 
and minus 2 there. This one does cross the x-axis. So we're starting to see how the algebra and things we've talked about and learned about in the algebra, for example, where the roots are, help us understand the geometry. Okay? So I, what I don't want you to do is memorize a bunch of rules and think, oh, okay, wait a minute, I know, this, this shifts it this way, this shifts it this way. Let's, let's, let's dig in and say, what does this mean? What is, what, when we add 2 to it or when we add 7 or when we subtract 4, what does that do to the graph? So in this case, it shifts it up or shifts it down. So then starting tomorrow, we'll be talking a little bit more about other cases. Okay? All right. All right. Good job, sweetie.